In this tutorial, we will be discussing about the radar coverage with and without jammers using the RAP software. Let me first launch the RAP software. Yeah, once it is loaded, I can set up the stations that are important for our analysis. Uh, in the first thing, I would like to choose to go to the station. Uh, in the map window and there are two windows will be available in wrap one is project window and the other one is the map window okay we can go ahead and we can open the map window pertaining to this particular project and let me start do some preparation work for the map go to view settings map contents and i would like to use the uh, relief partial color so that I can see the maps appropriately. Uh, let me make it a pan view and play with that so that it is much more visible. One cool. Once I have this one, I can go to the station and I can set up the new station. And this is going to be let me select the radar station over here radar wrap underscore wrap space radar hyphen 5m that is our uh, radar for our analysis okay i chose that particular one and i popped up the window i'm going to keep it as radar test once it is this is going to be both transmitter and receiver it is going to send the signal and it is going to receive the signal and in this one i would like to place this particular radar at a particular location on the sweden map that's what I wanted to play with. I have the coordinates that are available with me uh, is uh, 6494186 is the X coordinate and my Y coordinate is 1483935 is my Y coordinate and I have my coordinates. And of course, I have my ground height as 122 meters about the sea level once i have this particular thing then i can go to the frequencies and i can define my frequencies my transmitter frequency is approximately 9 9900 mega h similarly i have my receiver frequency as 9900 mega h and then i have my transmitter equipment okay I have transmitter equipment already by default it is going to choose everything and I just want to change my ERP or EARP of the transmitter antenna is 59 and the location of the azimuth degrees of the angle is 306.274 that is my azimuth and automatically all these values you can take it as a, a default then I can go to the receiver equipment and I can play with these things. I, everything is same. I don't need to touch anything in the receiver equipment. Similarly, in the radar tab, I can keep it intact as it is. Cool. I have my station is available. Uh, you can see over here, I have my radar test station is available over here. Okay. And then once I have my station is available, let me squeeze the window so that we can look the windows much better for our analysis when we do perform the analysis uh, it might be much brighter i don't want to close this window i just want to resize so that i can have the better view okay next thing is i would like to play add two more stations for our analysis here i would like to choose the station and i would like to add new and then I would like to have an empty station at this point of time. I would like because this is basically a jammer. I wanted to use it jammer jammer one and I would like to have it is only transmitting. OK, and I would like to place this jammer at a certain location. I have my coordinates available over here. Let me punch in the coordinates for this jammer one. Uh, the X coordinate is six, five, one six seven four seven and my y jammer coordinate is one five five zero eight two five these are my coordinates and of course i can keep it as the, the ground height is 27 meters and then this is only transmitter 
and then the frequencies is frequencies are um, uh, 9900 megahz let me click that particular thing yes i got my transmitter frequency as 9900 megahz and then i can add this particular frequency yeah i think i need to add the station again uh mt and uh, jammer one for some reason i lost that particular thing i'm going to add this particular one again uh edit and my coordinates are six five one six seven four seven and one five five zero eight two five and those are my coordinates and the ground height is 27 meters okay and then i do have the frequencies as 9900 mega h then i have my transmitter frequency okay i need to add the 9900 frequency and yes this is going to take my take that particular value okay and i don't have anything receiver just the transmitter and here i would like to choose uh, my transmitter equipment as a uh, wrap uh, radar 5m that is what which we have chosen earlier wrap radar 5m that's what i wanted to choose for our analysis then i would like to choose the antenna which you would like to radiate uh, is uh, w uh, s td omni there's one more antenna available in the library i would like to choose that omni antenna which is transmitting okay and i know the power value earp value is 22 and the height is 500 and i don't want to add any azimuth to this particular thing and let me click okay and then i do have uh, let me duplicate same jammer i would like to place at a different location and I'm only going to tweak the uh, location values. Everything else is same except the location values. And then what I have is edit. I would like to go and add 644-5047. And then 1532825 is my Y coordinate of the second jammer. I have everything available over here. My jammer 1 is there, jammer 2 is there, and radar test is there. Let me make this visible on the map viewer. See over here, this is my radar test. And I have my uh, jammer 1 is available. And then, of course, my have, I'll be having my jammer 2. Okay, let me slightly zoom my area so that it will be brighter. Okay. Uh, I got my, I could able to see my jammers. At the same time, I could see my uh, radar test and everything. Okay. You see over here, radar test is there. Red jammer one is there and jammer two is there. And since I already set up my project, I am ready to run the analysis for this particular project. Okay. Uh, let me select the radar test and go to the tools under tools i have radar coverage to perform the analysis just select the radar coverage go to the transmission loss and keep everything is in common and just go to this particular thing let us not activate the jammers for the uh, first simulation we let us do without the jammers fixed height about the ground level is approximately 300 uh, keep it and then we are performing the simulation without jammers over here and also we are not there is a swirling case in case if you would like to add the swirling case uh, you can add that one and also you can add the clutter probably you can add the effects of the wind or the rainfall rate uh, over here for this particular simulation and also if you pay attention to the propagation model i was using itur p.2001 p.368 that is the model I was using for my analysis. And then just click OK over here. And that is going to perform the calculations for us. 
and the results will be available in the results tab over here under radar coverage results let me go ahead and look into the radar results okay show in visible in map viewer okay this is the these are the results from the uh, jammer because we don't have we don't we didn't activate the jammer at just the result the results from the uh, radar test and uh, it can detect from up to 1 meter square, 10 meter square, and 100 meter square uh, based on the color coding over here. How do I know that? I can go to the jammers and look into the presentation. Yeah, if you, you can detect the objects of 1 meter square, uh, 10 meter square, and 100 meter square. Once I have these things, I can activate my jammers to look the results. Let me activate my jammers and take it to the next step. Uh, I'm just playing here with my results so that I can look it into the bright fashion. Okay, mm, nothing else. And let me go back to my simulation and let me perform the radar coverage again. Uh, let me select this radar test, go to tools, radar coverage, and I would like to activate the jammer one, set jammer, and similarly, I would like to set the jammer two. That means both of those things will be radiating now transmitting the signal and let me keep everything intact as seen. Let us not change anything. And this time we are going to run the radar with jammers now. That's why I'm going to keep with jammers now and then click OK. And this is going to perform the play attention to the calculations here. This will be very quick and we have the results. Let me make the results visible in the map viewer. Yeah, you see over here. I got the results available for the overlap on this particular thing uh, with the, without jammers. Let me uh, make it invisible, the other, other result. Okay, these are the results from the without the jammer. Yeah, and also not only that, in wrap, we can have additional effects like uh, 3D visualization of the results are possible. And also we can play with the maps so that it is for the very good or better presentation of our results. Uh, let me perform the simulations for the 3D analysis of this particular thing and how does it look. Let us select the radar test again, go to tools and go to radar coverage and try to uh, set the jammers again uh, on jammer one and set the jammer two. Once we have this, these jammers were set up, uh, then go select the volume above the sea level and I would like to choose 400 meters to 10 kilometers height, 10,000 uh, meters height. And then let me choose the low resolution to save some computational time for us. And this is since this is 3D results, I let me check the 3D. Okay, and click OK. And this will start the simulation and it will run the simulation and it will finish there. Let me deactivate it visible and make the 3D results visible visible in center map, okay. And just the color coding I need to play with over here uh, so that I can distinguish the results much better way. And then I would like to have 1000, uh, okay, okay. And we can look the results very bright fashion for the 3D jammers, okay, the 3D. And this is, we are looking at the 3, 2D, 2D plane. Let me go to the view and change to 3D so that we can look into the 3D results. Yeah, this is these results are slightly exaggerated. I can play with these results appropriately so that uh, uh, we can look the results in decent fashion. Go to settings, go to map contents and 3D data and reduce the height scaling. Okay, so that it will be it will be in the normal way. And also we can add much more effects to the maps so that uh, it is much more brighter. Let me add the Sweden maps and deactivate the raster data so that we can look into the street map data. Okay, you see over here, now we do have the radar uh, transmitting and two jammers are active over here for us and how the, how the results looks. Okay, also I can make a 2D view and in case if you are interested in 2D view, Again, let me go back to the 3D view. If you are interested in, yes, you see over here, how it looks, looks much cool, right? Yes. This is a simple demonstration of the radar coverage analysis using wrap. 
in this tutorial we discussed about the radar coverage with jammers and without jammers and also 3d effects and played with the maps in wrap okay thanks thank you folks hope you enjoyed the session